Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, how are you today? So today we are going to talk about essentials of a good presentation and today we are discussing about the outlines such as preparation, delivery, and visual aids So let's talk about it one by one So let's talk about the delivery So um, there are uh, things that we have to look uh, at uh, before we do the preparation. So the first one is the research. Research is a crucial first step in preparing a presentation. It involves gathering information about the topic, the audience, and the purpose of the presentation. This information can be used to tailor the presentation to meet the needs and interests of the audience and to ensure that the information presented is accurate and relevant. And then the second is outline. So once the research has been completed, the next step is to create an outline for the presentation. The outline should include the main points to be covered and the order in which they will be presented. This will help to ensure that the presentation is organized and logical and will make it easier to rehearse and deliver the presentation. And finally, uh, you need a rehearsal. Rehearsal is an important part of the preparation process as it allows you to practice the delivery of the presentation and to identify and address any areas that needs improvement. It also helps you build confidence and reduce nervousness. So rehearsal can be done in front of the mirror with friends or colleagues or using technology such as teleprompter. The goal is to become comfortable with the material and the delivery so that the presentation can be delivered smoothly and confidently on the day of the actual presentation. And then next, let's talk about the um, delivery. In delivering the presentation, you have to be confident. So confident is a key component of effective presentation skill. Confidence can be developed through preparation, practice, and by having a clear understanding of the topic. Confidence can also be reflected in the posture, tone of voice, and the use of gesture and body language. If you are confident, you are likely more engaged and inspire your audience. And then the second, eye contact. Eye contact is an important aspect of nonverbal communication and can greatly enhance the effectiveness of a presentation. It helps you establish a connection with the audience and conveys confidence, interest, and credibility. It is important to maintain eye contact with the audience rather than looking at the slide or the floor. And finally, the body language. Body language is a critical component of effective presentation skill and can greatly impact the way a message is received by the audience. Positive body language, such as open gesture, confident posture, and animated facial expression, can help to engage the audience and convey energy and enthusiasm. On the other hand, negative body language, such as fidgeting, crossing arm, or avoiding eye contact, can detract from the message and reduce the impact of presentation. And next, how can you use the visual image? So in the use of image, um, you can find out that the picture is worth a thousand words. And the use of images can make your presentation more engaging and memorable. Images can also help you illustrate a point convey emotion, or simply break up the monotony of a text-heavy presentation. So whether it's a photo, a cartoon, or a graph, incorporating image in the presentation can make it more visually appealing and help to keep the audience interested in your speech. And you can also use charts and graph in your presentation. So charts and graph can be a powerful tool for communicating complex information in an easy to understand format. This uh, media can help to bring data to life and make it easier to see trends and relationships. 
and when using charts and graph it is important to choose the right type of chart or graph to best convey the message and to ensure that it is legible and easy to read and also you can use effective use of slide design so the design of the slides can greatly impact the effectiveness of a presentation a well-designed slide can help to keep the audience focused while a poorly designed slide can be distracting and difficult to read so remember when designing slide it's important to use a clean simple and consistent design to use high quality images and graphic and to avoid clutter and the key is to ensure that the design support the message and does not overpower it and remember the focus should always be on the presenter and the message, not the slide. So I think that's all, dear students. Thank you for your attention. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.